Bruce Wars here for Slap News post Power Slap number two with my man Big Jeeves. We are going over the heavyweight division here today. We had a shakeup at the top. Big Jeeves, did you see Wolverine getting knocked off at Power Slap number two? You know, I personally didn't, but everybody told me going into this, don't count out the belt, don't count out the belt. Oh, it slaps the belt. in the face. And Here we are, the final life. round Here for the is. heavyweight belt. Well, Absolutely, we did. On the you, line. your Dude. boy, Dwayne Crespo, got the bells unleashed in Power oh. Slap number one. In a very similar fashion, we see Ryan getting knocked down right here in round five. You know, like we talked about before, we see a lot more of these matches in Power Slap number two going in the distance, very different in Power Slap number one, we see Ryan Ryan off the and, uh, you know, early finishes. So there we are, we just seen it. Obviously, the bell was had his game on and he was going hard and he is mm -hmm. now the champion of the heavyweight division at the very top he is young he is explosive he is powerful he is built you know for power slap and we're starting to see this a little bit more evolved now what yeah. does it mean to be built to be a slap fighter Yes. You know, we didn't know before there was a ton of different body, you know, types, shorter guys, taller guys, longer arms, shorter arms. We didn't really know, but we're starting to see now a certain body type unfold. And mm -hmm. we're seeing a guy like the bell raise to the top. Do you see anybody else in the heavyweight division, Big Jeeves, that is going to be able to contend with a guy like the bell anytime soon? I mean, if we're looking on straight stats right now, I think with um, Ron leaving, making his announcement on social media that he's leaving the heavyweight division, I think Dorian Perez disturbing the peace. Um, um, Darius had pretty lackluster showing last one. Let's be real with Power Slap 2. It wasn't the Darius, the destroyer that we're used to. I don't know what caused that. Maybe we can get Darius on here to see that. But if we're looking at straight standings and performance, I'm going to have to say Dorian Perez is next up for that uh, that shot at the bell, man. Yeah, I mean, Dorian Perez has been going up the rankings. Mm -hmm. As you said, I think he's deserving of that opportunity. Obviously, Wolverine now, you know, expressing his desire to move down to the light heavyweight. I think an interesting guy, and it's too early for him to be able to get a title opportunity, but James Sassbilly Stone. Wow, here. yeah. You know, we can't talk about it. The no. fight hasn't come out yet. <laughs> it hasn't come out yet. But that what a guy, you know, with a structure who is an ox who competed at super heavyweight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've seen him at super. His natural weight is at heavyweight. And we know he's going to push that upper echelon of, uh, you know, 265 in the division. But mm -hmm. I actually see him being somebody like Dorian Perez was going into power slap number one, where Dorian unfortunately got into a car accident before yeah. the house. So we didn't see him on the road to the title. Mm -hmm. However, when he had his opportunity in power slap, he shocked the world, obviously. And, uh, you know, made a name for himself at power slap number one, coming yeah. into power slap number two, backing it up and proving that he was worthy of the opportunity and potentially going up there for a title shot at power slap number three. So yeah. it, it was a, it was a, it was an insane first showing. Like we said, we can't really say much, but um, it might be one of my favorite prelims and I can't wait for the fans to get to see um, the Sass Billy, the Sasquatch Hillbilly go at it. This dude, this dude kills people. <laughs> like, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. He's a, he's a yeah. savage. And, like you said, he's normally a heavyweight, but um, he was ready for heavyweight. Let's be real, guys. Like he was ready for his um, match at heavyweight, but some things happened and his opponent could not make it, so he wasn't able to. And right away, they said, "Can you go up weight?" And he said, "Hell yeah!" And he put on that weight over what maybe forty eight hours, and yeah. just it was a great match for him. First off, I can't wait for everybody to see it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree with you. You know, um, you know, talking about obviously we had, uh, you know, Dorian Perez victorious, you know, we yep. think that people who are going to challenge, you know, the actual title holder should, you know, be getting into it on a win you know, not getting into a loss. So we've got Darius, the destroyer coming in with a loss, Austin Turpin, who won, who we know is dropping down to light heavyweight. So we kind mm -hmm. of take him out of that conversation right now. Um, I mean, Dwayne Crespo, 
Um, we can't talk about him either right now. So, it's, no. you know, we don't know where he is at. We'll see his fight kind of come out. We'll see yeah. whether his stock goes up or down. Frank Holland, we did not see. Um, Ryan, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see more of Ryan. I don't know how his injury is healing up and what his um, appetite is to compete still because he is a coach mm-hmm. now, right? So um, I, I'd love to see more of Ryan come out there, the king of kings, and do his goddamn thing. Yeah, I think he's still, I think he's still at least January 2024 away at the mm-hmm. very earliest. I don't think we're going to see him in this calendar year, just my yeah. personal opinion. Um, but yeah, we see some guys kind of starting to cement themselves at the top. We see some guys leaving the division, new guy like James coming in, who I think mm-hmm. is exciting for the division. But I think, you know, outside of the bell, um, you know, and Dorian Perez, I think it thins out a little bit um, yeah. for actual guys that are ready and primed to go in for that title shot. Um, you know, we don't think that the best, you know, slap fighters in the world are here in power slap, um, you know, whatsoever. Obviously, there's slap fighting leagues all around the world. You mm-hmm. know, we're talking about Brazil, Poland, South Africa, um, you know, our buddy Austin Turpin coming from North Africa. <laughs> 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 but uh, Poland, Russia, you know, when these guys get in there and the uh, power slap gets to Abu Dhabi, I think we're the... Uh, the world's going to take notice. I think the Americans are going to take notice. And we're going to see mm-hmm. really f- who is the best of the best. And I think this is really kind of growing, as I kind of said on a previous episode, kind of like the World Series of Baseball, where they're yeah. bringing all these guys in, from re- allowing them to represent their country. And we are going to see who is the best of the best and really create a world champion here in slap fighting. We don't have that right now anywhere. And this is going to be, you know, the unanimous belt and kind of how it unfolds. And so the heavyweight division with the bell, I think is, you know, very safe at the top. I think there's obviously Dorian Perez, who is one of the more dangerous guys in the division. That's going to be Mm -hmm. able to challenge him. So we're going to see that. And then we're going to see how things fall after that. But I know for sure that the heavyweight division is always one slap away from changing hands. Yeah. The power that these guys bring is remarkable. Um, yeah. You know, the quality of athlete that is there, um, you know, it's going to keep on continuing and evolving, but it's definitely mm-hmm. exciting to talk heavyweights whenever we have that opportunity to, Jeeves. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's one of the, until we get a real super heavyweight division, it is one of my favorite divisions because, like you said, mm-hmm. the power that these guys hold. Um, but if it stays sort of the way it is, unless – Power Slab Brass have a couple aces up their sleeve for the heavyweight division. Um, I think the belt might be dominant for a while, man, in this division. He might hold that title belt for a few Power Slaps if it stays yeah. the way it is. But the crazy part is we also said that about uh, Wolverine, too. You know, we thought well, I didn't know that he had aspirations to want to go back <laughs> down the light heavyweight. I yeah, thought he yeah. was... I thought he was happy. I thought he was at home with that belt, but yeah. Um, hey, you got you go where you would go. You gotta go where you fit in, I guess, right? Totally. Awesome, man. We're gonna keep it short on this one. We just wanted to update you guys on the heavyweight division post power slap number two. Get you guys out that content. If you guys aren't doing so already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification mm-hmm. bell. If you want to see any content or you have any questions about us or things you'd like us to talk about on future episodes, let us know in the comments section below. We appreciate you all. Love you guys. I'm Corey Swergos here. There's Big Jeeves. Slap news. Appreciate you. Much love. Cheers, guys.